It's the 13th day of September 2023. I'm going to be your host, Dana Durnford, for the next while. We're doing well. Let's show it to nuclear industry, of course. It goes without saying. Not very impressed with that a lot. So, I like I I was trying to work out how do you tell that story. It's such a crazy story. So this is two of four reactors. Chernobyl was one, but these each had uh, four decades of reactor cores stored at the very top of these buildings. Each this is um, the mixed oxide fuel reactor is a billion times worse than number four reactor. Uh, number 40 claimed didn't melt down, didn't blow up. All, they got all the fuel that it would pull, blah, blah, blah. By the way, they picked up 30 million one-ton bags. There's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored, outside the Fukushima Daiichi perimeter. And it's stored in 2019 at 105,000 sites. Science outweighs irrational reasoning. So it's irrational reasoning. And then they tell you that there's only 2.2 grams that got out of these buildings. And don't worry, because those 2.2 grams is equal to 3 grams of sugar is all that got out of these buildings that don't even exist. <laughs> Uh, how do you argue when the person telling it to you is a university representative from the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering? People are going to say, well, Danny, he's, he's a professor at a university. He's so creative, Dana. Why would he lie to you? Why would the university let him lie like that? Apparently, that's their job because it ain't like no three grams of sugar. If it was, they wouldn't be out talking about it. International Atomic Energy Agency finds tritium levels, this was yesterday, in seawater near Fukushima below the limits. Tritium, <laughs> International Atomic Energy Agency, is not looking for radiation because there's 30 to 60 million one-ton bags. 30 million one-ton bags, a one-ton bag is all you can get in the back of a pickup truck. So that's 30 million one-ton pickup trucks we're talking about. Try organizing the keys for 30 million one-ton pickup trucks. Or put 30 million one-ton pickup trucks, bumper to bumper, that's five rows of traffic bumper to bumper around the planet. No. There's only tritium, Dana. Well, the bags are not full of tritium, sir. Here, and, and it gets, no matter how you try to have the conversations, like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Here's four major media, CNN, ABC, BBC, ABC is Australia's biggest media, BBC and CBS, claiming they're on top of the building to the left, Reactor 4. Unprecedented situation of radioactive pollution. Um, intensive contamination areas designated near downtown Tokyo. Uh, official says there's health assistance for kids, pregnant women, if needed, is needed. No, the International Atomic Energy Agency is like, no, there's only tritium. We didn't find any, thank goodness, after the release of the water 12 years later from buildings that disappeared 12 years ago. So I'm going to just try to wrap a little part of my brain around what they're saying versus the evidence. I hope you join me. One Fukushima may destroy the whole country. Collapse of a whole country is possible. Now, what, what do you think they're they're framing the narrative? They're invoking something so uh, so terrible. So. One Fukushima, which is multiple reactors. And it doesn't just destroy a country, but it certainly does. 
the country, the host country. Uh, the bottle, bottom model is 27 days later, but the second one from the top is uh, six days after the last explosion. And March the 25th, the, the third one from the top, the second one from the bottom, that model is based on 14 days, two weeks after the tsunami, but nine days after the last detonation. This is React 3. It actually detonated. There's nothing left. Hot material with 7 billion becquels a kilogram of cesium. Wait, what? Cesium, but uh, IAEA is the only time of tritium, Dana. That's why I'm showing you this. 15 kilometers from the disease factory. Most likely came from reactor 3, which is pretty obvious. That could do it, definitely. Over 7,500 becquels a kilogram of plutonium and americium per kilogram. Yeah, but the, the authorities can't find anything on any tritium. The professors at the university says it's like sugar, not plutonium. And they had 105,000 storage sites with around 30 million one-ton bags. That's There's about 60 million tons of contaminated soil that's being stored, planned to be stored. Special issue of the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists shows exit from nuclear power brings economic environmental benefits. Startling findings. But the Bulletin of Unconcerned Scientists have stabbed us in the back so many times. They were looking for some street creds, right? Now they turn full on evil against you. Germany is producing too much power after turning off the disgusting nuclear reactors. Experts warn gas-driven plants are shutting down. Wind, solar, hydro prices are too low. And they, um, they scuttled your ability to have any kind of storage. There's tons of storage solution for wind and solar or anything else if you needed it. Just, just, just endless amounts. I'll give you a couple of quick examples. A couple of quick examples that could take a long time to find. <laughs> What's up? Why isn't it right where it's supposed to be? Anyway, uh, here we go. We'll get there. We can do it. So I know this is going to sound crazy. But like, like the most obvious is pumped hydro, like a water pond. What the hell just happened to them? They didn't show up. I have no idea what was that all about. Because that's what I tried to copy and paste, but it didn't show up for some reason. Pumped hydro can deliver 100%. 100%. So you have two artificial ponds, and you, you, not, you don't need to use seawater, but you can. But it's better to use what you call water batteries. You've got two ponds, you pump the water up to the top pond, they're artificial ponds, so there's no marine life affected. Nuclear plant kills around. There's 4,500 tons a minute. Each glass of water has a billion creatures. So do the math. 16 million billion creatures, eggs and larvae a minute per reactor. So you can pump water up a hill uh, with what they call, what's known as water batteries. And where's the rest of them that I had there in a the big pile? The thing is, I add a lot of materials, so sometimes I get... I don't find it as quick as I should. The other one was compressed air storage. 
where you where there's actually windmills that's all you do is compress air and you store that in mine shafts and then you release it when there's no wind or solar oh i know what happened it was where we had we had a hard drive hacked and killed and a big one at that and we had um the ability to live stream on youtube and rumble permanently interfered with by hackers but not youtube and rumble but there is a lot of evidence to suggest that's exactly who's doing it and because i contacted them they denied i couldn't stream so you can use compressors yourself and pump it in to mine shafts which are silly simple idiot proof to do and you can also get uh, windmills that's all you do is pump air it's brilliant really so they abandoned all these communities because they were worried about tritium or they were worried about Plutonium-239 at around 23,000 times higher than previously announced. But apparently they had around, and it's interesting to use 23,000 times higher because that's roughly the poundage that was in Reactor 4. And would, you assume, definitely in Reactor 3 because it was a mixed oxide fuel and 1 and 2. <coughs> Up to around that number because around 2% of the fuel was plutonium and when you do the numbers because you, you got to realize Japan had shipped a lot of fuel to France and the United Kingdom from other reactors to turn into mixed oxide fuel and they have over a hundred thousand pounds of plutonium somewhere in Japan <coughs> from the disease factories in UK and La Hague and friends outbreak of antibiotic resistant bacteria due to mutations especially in Fukushima Guma Tachigi cases in a week and these are notoriously high radioactive wastelands we're talking about pregnant women get a free house if they move back to Fukushima so why did they leave if there was only tritium right interesting fact for the West Coast, new UN report. Interesting facts. Well, here's one fact. Whoever is spraying that right there, that's a region to bind with the fuel pellets to stop uh, the splitting of the atom from being mobilized into the environment because the fuel is still splitting atoms no matter where it's to. And that's the problem. All the fuel pools are still hemorrhaging atoms isotopes from the fuel rods interesting fact for the west coast in you UN, UN, who says there's only cesium got out six weeks ago on july the 13th the new version backed by iaea aka-un but back in 2013 Physicians were saying for the West Coast in the new UN report, their report, 95% of Fukushima is discharged, transported in the Pacific, contamination to impact North America, and the list goes on. So, like, first off, they're not spraying in the regions, and that person died that day. Don't make any mistake. That person died that day in their paper suit. Imagine how evil you are to send someone into that nuclear wasteland with a paper suit. And you do that because you know they're not going to survive. And there's profits to be made of... Uh, the, like they, they are considered sacrificial, right? They call it sacrificing. They call it um, human robots. So they disconnect. Water nuclear fuel coming up from the ocean floor off Fukushima coast. Because when the when the reactor is detonated, now 
the interesting thing about the reactors detonating was we have footage of reactor one detonating and two buildings up is reactor three we have footage of that detonating but we don't have footage even though the cameras were running of reactor four which was the first one they claimed they got the fuel out of And when you look at Reactor 4, of course, if you're being honest, you look at the real picture, not the fake one like Arnie shows you, but the real one, what you see is there is no poles, there is no reactor cores, and the, and the fuel poles are six times the reactor cores because you don't have a repository anywhere on the planet. 220 million becquels a liter of cesium. Again, I don't hear the word tritium. Now in number two spent fuel pool. Well, number two spent fuel pool was long gone after about three days after it detonated. Number one, uh, by the way, melted down within 50 minutes of the earthquake. Number one, two, and three clearly have significant fuel damage. The reactors will melt down after about 50 minutes if they don't get a million gallons a minute to keep them cool. But number one, two, and three fuel pools were gone, so was number four. That's, that's for sure. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. And, you know, they got 105,000 sites of one-ton bags full of everything under the sun, and tritium has never been mentioned. The plumes is 300,000 plus becquels a square meter radioactive iodine. That's not tritium. Deposit area just per square meter for goodness sakes. In Tokyo, before the end of March, Japan's study only included the 131 iodine. So for every iodine 131, there's 10 times more iodine 132, 30 times more iodine 133, 31 times more iodine 129. The 131 and 132 iodines are nine times more effective at ionizing and radiating the thyroid glands than the viciously effective 131 actually is. So the fuel pools are at the top of the building and the reactor cores, and that's the Medusa over there, reactor three is a Medusa. That's actually gone. There, there is nothing there. It's gone. And, that, and this was um, by say day seven or something. That's when they got that particular picture on the seventh day, everything was gone. So in the International Atomic Energy Agency, and, and by the way, this was a mixed oxide fuel facility. This is bad as it gets. And some estimates have put it at 2 billion times the emissions from a normal nightmare nuclear meltdown are 2 billion times more toxic than industrial poison. Well, actually, the fuel pools Whatever comes out of the fuel pool's normal endless perpetual emissions, which is why they're surrounded by farms. I'm not trying to poison you on purpose in the supermarket. Totally accidental that all nuclear power plants are surrounded by farms. A complete accident. So when the, the very people that represent 195 countries are vehemently trying to com coerce you into accepting a narrative that simply is 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 criminal. It's criminal to suggest that 2.2 grams of tritium is all that got out of 40s reactors. We never had four reactors melt down anywhere on the planet before. Fukushima contaminated soil, 105,000 sites. None of that is tritium. You got a, a professor, a South Korean professor at, a, at the best university in South Korea from the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering. If your daughter brings home him and says he's the professor at the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering and, and whatever, you're going to be pretty impressed, right? My goodness, you must be so smart. Holy cow, you must make a lot of money being in a prestigious job like that. Bless your soul. 
And then he says there's only 2.2 grams is all that got out of four buildings and eight fuel pools that is missing. And don't worry, though, because it's like three grams of sugar. And how do you argue with somebody from a professor from the most prestigious institution in the, the South Korea? Because <coughs> you better you come up with a, a reply because that's genocide, omnicide, all rolled up in the one big, happy, evil package. All-time high radiation levels in the wells, because they, drill, they drilled around 100 wells around Fukushima site, uh, allegedly. And that water is the water that was going into the tanks, because they were bringing up water and they were testing it. They can't throw it in the ocean because it's polluting the ocean, so they were putting it in the tanks. And they got a thousand tanks, and that was meant to give you confidence, right, that they can maintain this testing regime. But they didn't. It, it was a complete lie. The tanks were actually empty. And we know this because of the they're pouring water over a melter reactor core. You can't actually filter that. The hoses that are bringing it from the site to wherever, you can't step over that. That's a lethal dose. You can't walk alongside it. That is a lethal dose. You can't drive a car past it. That's a lethal dose. You're talking about sievers, multiple sievers per liter. And you're talking about a few particulates. You can't filter that out. All the particulates are the same size. You can't filter out one and then filter out another one like they're claiming. And if you did actually try it, the filter is so radioactive after a few minutes, you can never get in the building again. And if you fill up a tank of this stuff, you're talking about over a million sievers. You, the tanks need to be 20 feet thick lead or something to shield you from 500 uh, meters away. It's a lethal dose. You can't get back on the site and you can't build another tank. This is just common sense. But they've uh, got 80 years of perpetual lies and they're completely out of control. The current generation, they're the inbreeding for 80 years. And they're the entitled lot from what we see. And I've been at this line before Fukushima happened. This is the entitled lot currently, the last couple of generations. And they're just used to stealing everything. 90% of the money that goes into the Superfund sites and the nuclear dumps, 90% of it goes to administration. That's their cushy job for being evil here. And they just steal all the money it takes to make them happy and keep their mouth shut. So 40 meters from the Pacific, 1.1 billion meters, cubic meters, or per cubic meter, of strontium-90 in 2013. But the strontium-90 doesn't peak until about 1,000 days. And then it peaks for thousands, tens of thousands of days after that. Long past your child's lifespan on this planet. You're talking about a 100 to 1 ratio. So in other words, if you've got 1.1 million becquels, billion becquels per cubic meter of strontium-90 under the plant from the wells they're sucking up, the reactors don't run on strontium-90. They run on uranium and plutonium. And the biggest byproduct of the radiated fuel rod is going to be curium isotope. So curium isotope is going to be significantly higher than that. You can't suck all that water up. This is wells around the site. Oh, by the way, and it's not tritium. It's got nothing to do with tritium. Tritium doesn't get mentioned anywhere on anybody the International Atomic Energy Agency and the public relations firms over the last six weeks. Yeah, there's a few headlines of it, but you can't find a tritium. Like, if you've got a billion becquels in the same sample, you can't measure it. Because the strontium-90 single is so strong, it drowns out the single for tritium. You can't measure it. You can't separate it. you got 200 million atoms on the head of a needle, and uranium, plutonium, americium, neptunium, strontium, whatever. They're all the same size. You can't filter that. you got 200 million atoms on the head of a needle. You can't see it. Do you really think, for even a split second, that they can filter out 
a million uranium or a million plutonium out of that. Is that are people really that delusional? Are they really in that much denial? Because apparently they are. Because for some reason we got the, the International Atomic Energy Agency. No, no, no. It's just tritium. You, know? you don't think they stopped the hackers? Stop me from streaming on YouTube and Rumble, the only two sites available that stream sensible well, did, which I've been streaming on YouTube for over a decade, five days a week for two hour shows typically. And the page where you set up doesn't even exist on my uh, YouTube channel, which I'm assuming is a YouTube hack because I contact YouTube and the chat room YouTube has for the creators. And out of over a billion people, I was the only one in the chat room. Because YouTube works so good, nobody had an issue. They got to me right away and said, no, nope, everything's good on air and anything else, Dana. I said, no, have a nice day. And I knew exactly who that was. As a public relation firm from the nuclear industry, tapped into my computer through YouTube chat room. But I still have to do the shows every day, no matter how hideous and evil, and monstrous, and demonic, and sadistic they are to me constantly for almost 12 years. I still show up every day, get the shit kicked out of me, and come back the next day and take it again. Because you need to know, and the world needs to know, and the world is going to have this conversation. If I got anything to do with it, the world will have this conversation at some point in the near future, too. Government simulation shows radioactive plume of Krypton-85 over Tokyo. Reactor 3 with MOX exploded on the 14th. I don't think the word exploded quite does it justice. Disappeared. Gone, baby. It did explode. I might even have that video, but it might not. Because they hacked my computer and I lost all kinds of stuff out of my go-to file. And they're definitely gone. Look at that. That hurts. A bash took con job. He's from the United Nations. Here's what he said about Fukushima. Uh, his name is Mr. Bashkuk Tunjak. Earlier this morning, uh, the mandate issued a, a press release on the situation in Fukushima, and this is one of the cases that's mentioned in in the report. Um, in in the press release, we're urging the Japanese authorities to halt the relocation of children and women of reproductive age to areas of Fukushima that exceed uh, levels of radiation that were considered safe before the nuclear disaster. After the nuclear disaster, the government of Japan raised the acceptable level of exposure from one millisievert per year to 20 millisieverts per year. And we're quite concerned, in particular, for the health and well-being of children who may be raised or born in Fukushima. That's Okay, so we're talking about reactor three, right? Exploding and the plume went over Tokyo shortly after. This is an explosion, I think, of reactor one first. Or did I slow it down or something? Let me see the speed. Oh, I got it slowed down, sorry. Let me move that ahead for you. So this is number one, going to pop. Let's watch that again. Number one exploding. And then next is number three exploding. Sorry. And that's number three. I'll come back to that in a second. This is number three exploding. That's the fuel pool in the reactor core you see rushing back to Earth because it's so heavy, right? But you got to realize there's no containment, no water. It's going to melt down immediately. 
So number when the number one explodes, you can see the vortex. This it's really something. I'm just gonna move it for you. That's a lethal dose. If you're in that plume, you're dead. And it's not moving out to the ocean like they said, is it? It's moving inland. They said that blew out to sea, remember that? That's that's reactor three. So they got reactor three, reactor one rather, and reactor three. So right alongside of it is reactor four. How come we don't have footage of that? How can you have footage of reactor one and three with reactor four right alongside of it? You got no footage. How does that actually work? S uh, so that's the remains of reactor four, but that, that never happened, Dana. This is what it looks like. Okay, calm down. That's reactor three. That didn't happen, Dana. Neither reactor three or four are destroyed. They, they got the fuel at both of the poles, Dana. Stop your fear mongering, Dana. And I wish the world would just be honest with themselves a single time. Uh, his name is Mr. Bashkuk. A single time. I replayed that. Um, it was a colossal 9,000 degree Fahrenheit in inside. The plutonium escaped the reactors. Oh, yeah, they escaped the reactors. Police on the situation. Is Sorry. They escaped the reactors. We know that because we just watched them pop. Well, that's reactor one. This is reactor three. So they're probably talking about reactor two and reactor one. And 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures. Deliberate cover up of the public's exposure to Fukushima radiation and the health problems are suffering. And now Japan's biggest problem, continual repurposeful concealment of the facts. Uh, well, Pur purposeful doesn't, that still don't do it justice to how evil they were about it. Maybe I can find it for you, maybe I can't. And even the experts, you know, the so-called anti-nuclear experts like Helen Caldercott wrote 14 anti-nuclear books but she refuses to acknowledge reactor four fuel pool is gone and reactor three fuel pool are gone. She refuses and she's done hundreds of interviews where she's done the same thing. She was challenged on the lies and official, I put the official picture to your left. The Japanese are very tidy people and they have by robot control and by human beings removed the debris from the top of building four and it does look pristine. And she promotes Arnie Gunnison, of course. That's, she's, it's, um, you know, you, you got all these experts and these favorites for the anti-nuclear community and, and they're cutting your throat. So I cut ties, once I realized what was going on, uh, ever since I vehemently cut ties with them. But I fell for them originally, I was like, well, that's some pretty good information, but then I started realizing, wait a second, they're cutting our throats, holy shit. And people were trying to convince me it's for the greater good, Dana. We need every voice we got, Dana. And I heard it all, right? From um, Japan's supermarket labels Fukushima area cabbage has grown a thousand kilometers from the meltdown because it was harmless, obviously, right? And they refused to stop growing food in the nuclear wasteland. And so they just relabel it as Okinawa or wherever it was convenient for them. A professor, so originally it was quite a few um, medias and academics spoke up the first couple of years. They, they were, like there they were still lots of propaganda in each story, but they were speaking up. They were saying, you know, it's something not right. And something not right. Don't believe them, right? They're, they're very shady, but they either changed their tune, got fired, or were just replaced. 
Now, all the media was bought up quite a long while before Fukushima, and certainly before the spent fuel pool uh, propaganda, because the only way they can pull that story off was, was they had to have confidence. They owned the media and they owned the universities. There were no dissenting voices. And they had to have confidence that they owned Greenpeace and that they owned uh, Beyond Nuclear and the rest of them. Otherwise, it doesn't work, see? Because you just show a picture and say, well, which one is real? Pin, pin the tail on the lawyer. And Helen Kellercott is done, right? He said, after you bring a, <coughs> after you bring a, a detector, you know, a radiation detector, to the store and learned about the actual uh, radiation, he refused to eat any fish. But it can't, it's not just fish, you know, like, right? So again, he's just talking about seafood as if, you know, this model is just 20 days of radioactive fallout. J Japan doesn't even, you can't even see Japan in the model. Is that covered in radioactive fallout? It's ground zero. So the professor says, well, he's not going to eat seafood. But he's going to eat the rice and all the other radioactive seafood. Billions of pounds. There's 14 prefectures where the food was banned by 55 countries for a decade. It's a sneaky ploy. They're doing it again. China's doing the same thing currently. China, Taiwan, South Korea are working in close hand-in-hand -hand with the Japanese government to persuade the Asian communities that is on Etridium. And with the sanctions, and most likely the architect of the law is the International Atomic Energy Agency. They can't pull off these laws without their blessing, without getting on one knee and kissing their ring, right? The IAEA, well, how many people is there? Then? There's around 35,000 people, maybe. But who done it? Well, we're not putting that out there. Who gave that sanction? 70% 70, uh, 70 of the children tested are contaminated with radioactive cesium. Wait, what? Not tritium? That must be a mistake. That's Pretty sure it's tritium you're talking about, Dana. No, 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 no. Well, the IAEA, Dana, is looking for tritium, not cesium. So, so you're wrong, Dana. They wouldn't lie. And the uh, head of nuclear and quantum engineering at uh, South Korea's most prestigious university are saying these children are, are liars. It's only equal to three grams of sugar, that's what he said. And I quote, Thyroid data means much more radiation must have come out of the reactors than ever reported. Well, let's have a quick look. I don't think anything got out. The International Atomic Energy Agency said they didn't even find any tritium off the coastline. Of four meltdowns and eight missing fuel pools with multiple reactors in each fuel pool. They're in charge of your planet. They're making the policies for your communities and your country. They're refusing to acknowledge. You're in a world of friggin' trouble, and you, you better get your acts together on this planet. Cows fed hay with cesium at 250 times the legal limit, 75,000 beckles. I'm, I'm laughing rather than screaming. That's the gallows laugh, right? So scary, you just involuntarily laugh. Cows fed hay with radioactive cesium, 250 times legal limit, 75,000 beckles a kilogram. Seventy five thousand beckles a kilogram each day. You know what the bioaccumulation of something like that's gonna be to the people that, that and you know I feel like a weirdo sometimes because I give a shit. It actually makes me feel like there's something wrong with me. Why do you give a shit for that? Who cares he kills all the insects and birds and mammals and animals and whales and destroy the health of the entire population of the entire planet? 
and wreck the future of humanity permanently. Guarantee no future for the anything. Surprised at how much cesium is moving through the environment. Crops with no direct contact to Fukushima fallout. Still highly contaminated. Just the degenerate uh, PBS. There's such. What they'd done is just. It was uncon uncalled for to be that evil, wasn't it? Japan Times followed from Fukushima causing problems 180 kilometers away. It all became no good. Contaminated wild vegetables, fish, the wild game, all spoiled. No, no, Dan, it's just tritium. We didn't find any off the coast. We're the International Atomic Energy Agency, Dana. By the way, Japan is the third biggest donor to the International Atomic Energy Agency. Death by uh, donations, apparently. Columbia medical professor, inhalation, just one radioactive hot particle can cause a cancer. And everything coming out of a nuclear meltdown is a hot particle. The International Atomic Energy Agency, their third biggest donor is Japan. <coughs> and they got 195 countries donating to them. They're just a corporation. They don't have any sovereignty over any country. Their job is to screw you, me, and the 8 million species. And everybody else, including them and their loved ones. And they love their job. They're good at their jobs. The head of the Fukushima Health Study, 100 microsievers a year is okay for pregnant moms. That's the person that's in charge of the health of the population of Fukushima, a massive, one of the biggest prefectures in Japan. The effects of radiation, this was a, a presentation. Effects of radiation do not come to people that are happy. Sure, this is not even voodoo, this is beyond voodoo stuff. They come to people that are weak spirited. This is a doctor, the head of the health, Fukushima Health Study. Uh, but there's no way that's, you know, oh me, oh my, eh? Every show just kills me. The, the evilness, the hatefulness they have for us. The incredible perpetual contempt that they have for everybody. Particularly anybody that's vulnerable or anybody that worked their whole life and are trying to retire and enjoy their twilight years, they're absolutely despised by the nuclear industry. And I don't even think despise really does a great job of the contempt that they have. So 100 millisievers a year is 100,000 microsieverts. 100,000 microsieverts for the moms. Okay, so if they're consuming that and everything is safety, then we shouldn't see what I'm showing you a study from 2019. Congenital heart disease operations rose 14%, and the study suggests that a nuclear accident might increase the risk of complex congenital heart diseases. But when you, they actually tell the story, there's 14.2% per 100,000 live births, Ne and neonates and infants need open heart surgery. Fourteen thousand two hundred per hundred thousand live births across the country. That's what they're doing, open heart surgery on fourteen point two percent. And that's an increase. Is more than that. You say it's unknown for sure, but the only catalyst that has the right denominators is the nuclear fallout. 
Pregnant women used for decontamination activities after Fukushima. Decontamination. And so what you're talking about, you're talking about nuclear wastelands. When you... Picking up, even just not counting the nuclear plant, but picking up one ton bags in a nuclear wasteland. Done it again, Tim. Look at that. Oh, what's going on? Why did they get done to me now? I wonder. You know, there was 150,000 of these early on sites. Curium-244, detected for the first time outside of Fukushima, requires lead shield 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium-238, but the curium is the biggest byproduct of the irradiated fuel rods. The damaged fuel rods are cracked. They're cracked, are they? You're cracked. Every time I see his reactor four, I get upset because of all the lies where he claimed he got all the fuel out of the pools that don't even exist. The truck is there to give you the illusion that they got control. There is no nuclear scientist, there is no nuclear academics, there is none on this site. And if you think, well, it doesn't matter you because you're somewhere else, you, you need to get it, your act together because you're not safe. This is a dispersal model based on 20 days of Neptunium-239, which decays to Plutonium-239. And it's just, if you got the model of that, you got a model of every other isotope in there also that you got to put into the equation. Former Department of Energy official, Criticizes UC Berkeley professor comparing ingestion of radioactive iodine to air travel. Uh, you don't want to travel through the air during that, by the way. Or for a couple of decades after. Fukushima released 100 quadrillion becquerels of cesium into the atmosphere in just one day. It was equal to the total Chernobyl release in just one day. So that one there would have been... 80 times Chernobyl releases in one day. And what were they talking about? Of just cesium. Every time I hear cesium, see, these models are not cesium, they're the real. Cesium is real, it's a nasty one, but cesium is not the major one. Curium byproduct is the biggest byproduct, not cesium. <coughs> and the reactors for uranium, plutonium, for goodness sakes. People inhale up to 85,000 becquerels of radioactivity, and they're only talking about iodine 131, nothing else. So, you know, you know, these towns, that area, there was just one month where they had over almost 13,000 people died extra by heart attacks in a single month. Because they consumed or breathed or drank or washed or showered or whatever, cooked their food and this stuff, or breathing. Uh, they can't avoid it if you're in most of Japan. Or if you're in Japan, you can't avoid it. Fukushima radioactivity over 40 billion becquerels a kilogram. Large black puddles of fallout along the roadside might well be from inside the failed fuel rods. Failed? Failed. F Does that look like it's failed? Remember, there's, there's 105,000 sites in 2019 of one-ton bags. You got the head of the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering at South Korea University telling you it's only 2.2 grams, and that is like 3 grams of sugar. You the International Atomic Energy Agency all the media worldwide, everything worldwide, trying to cut your throat. Not trying, but successfully cutting everybody's throat and their own included. 
And these communities are not abandoned because of tritium. 40% of Fukushima visitors showed internal exposure to radiation. None of it was tritium. Tritium is not part of this equation. It's, it, it, well, I'm sorry, it's a part of the equation, but you were, you know, the, the uranium, plutonium, the curium, the cesium, the strontium, the americium, the neptunium, the xenons, everything is going to drown out the tritium single and curium is going to drown out plutonium single and everything else because curium, you need lead shielding 20 times thicker to protect you. Do you, you get how this actually works? <coughs> International Atomic Energy Agency, not for distribution. Molten core is suspected of penetrated Fukushima containment vessel. The Prime Minister, Khan, on 311 said, we couldn't be in Tokyo if the melted fuel went through the containment vessel. So I'll break this down into simple language for those who are not familiar. That if that happened, then you can't be in Tokyo. So let's just pretend it didn't happen, Dana. Come on, Dana, we all get a big chunk of money out of it. Nobody gets harmed. Except for 36 million people in Tokyo. So what should you, if you should evacuate if number four goes, how about if number three and four goes? Should you evacuate then? <laughs> how about if one, two, three, and four reactor goes? How about if one, two, three, and four comma span fuel pool and reactor six goes? Because the evidence definitely suggests that's what happened. How about if one, two, three, and four in the common span fuel pool in reactor six and the fuel pool with two fuel pools every reactor six, two fuel pools every reactor four, two fuel pools every reactor three, two fuel pools every reactor two, two fuel pools every reactor one, all catch fire and blow up and lose the entire 40 year inventories. Should you evacuate Tokyo then? In Japan? You know what the answer is. And the ones you trust, the one you're turning to is uh, the shining light of the nuclear industry, the, the brave and stoic International Atomic Energy Agency. And today, I admit, it, there's no such thing as a safe level of anthropogenic man-made radiation. And that they've been hoodwinking you for their 80 years, that their allowable standards are based on benefit, not safety. There is no benefit to anthropogenic man-made radiation, so they're talking about natural. Natural stuff doesn't come from reactors. <coughs> Potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron doesn't come from reactors. They're from stardust. The reason we call Fukushima emissions man-made is because they're not created by the solar system. So, like, with that emission there, the International Atomic Energy Agency should be banned by every country on the planet immediately. It's the moral and ethical thing to do. And then by proxy, UN, too, because they're not supposed to exist. They've taken over your planet. They got hundreds of subsidy companies, everything from tourists to how much TV you watch. You'll be... You mean, and like they control UNICEF, they, they control, they have their own military, they go and they destroy countries, and then they send in UNICEF. And UNICEF never tells you the true horror. Why Fukushima is worse than Chernobyl, now the truth is coming out, 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. <coughs> Again, there's 1,800 diseases and illnesses and autoimmune deficiencies and injuries and illnesses from radiation. It's not just cancer. And 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. Again, it's that that was on a on a very low, low, low scale. <coughs> Hiroshima, Nagasaki are a millionth of a second event, right? A nuclear meltdown is consuming steel and rebar and rocks and atomizing, aerosoling, ionizing, and radiating it. 
transmutating it, releasing it into the environment, all of the neutrons, wherever they land, they're radiating everything. The pollen is radioactive. If it's radioactive from a neutron source, like tritium and everything else, wherever it lands, it's going to leave residual contamination permanently. It's, and, and it never stops, right? The, in, the industry hates your guts. Do you really think that 410 current nuclear power plants, over 400 of them are surrounded by farms, is some accident? You got, if you know how much they hated your guts, you'd be worse than me. I used to be pretty, um, pretty outspoken because the horror was so real, but they just weaponized that against you. They're so good at it, eh? They're only good at destroying. They're no good at nurturing. Now the truth is coming out 72,000 times worse than Hiroshima. Well, Hiroshima is like 10 kilograms. The reactors are millions of pounds, millions of kilograms in the buildings and the fuel pools and everything else, each building. Mysterious black substance has a million plus beckles a kilogram of cesium all over Minamasoma. It's quite a ways away. They moved all the children back. The stuff never goes away. Oh, they, they went in and they power washed the house and said, okay, have a nice day, senor. Because it was Mexicans. It wasn't nuclear scientists or nuclear academics. International Atomic Energy Agency finds tritium levels in seawater near Fukushima below the limit. Japan Times. Fukushima to ban rice grown in Onami. <laughs> We're, uh, I, I can't find anything, not even tritium. It's just beautiful. Nearly 5,000 nuclear plant workers suffer an internal radiation exposure. 5,000 after visiting, visiting Fukushima. Uh, none of them are contaminated is attributed to tritium, not a single one. Everybody who works at this gets sick and dies, right? And they picked up 30 million one-ton bags. Got any idea how many people were actually talked about in the, the big scope of things? So they built an ice wall instead of a real wall at Fukushima. And allegedly they used 260,000 people. But the budget, the final budget, if you took 260,000 people and divided it into the entire budget without buying anything, they all got $1,200 each. Estimated 276 quadrillion beckles of cesium-137 in the uh, Fukushima basement. Triple Chernobyl's total release. A portion has already made its way to the aquifers. A portion. A portion. Tripled. Each of the buildings are about 100 times Chernobyl. These were pure uranium, pure plutonium. There's four reactors. I show you two because they're very visible. Hopefully that gets through to somebody out there and they come to their senses and fight alongside of us. I'm talking about bloggers. Every blogger on the planet should be speaking about this. Over 1,000 nuclear workers, and they haven't mentioned it. They're like, no, Jesus, there's no tritium. They're just regurgitating UN's narrative every day if they mention it. Only over 1,000 nuclear workers at 10,000 counts per minute. But like 10,000 counts per minute or what? <coughs> 10,000 counts per minute of this, 10,000 counts per minute of that, 10,000 counts per minute of these, 10,000 10, counts per minute of those, 10,000 uh, counts per minute of them. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Plutonium-238, 239, 240 detected at the playground. Where else could it be from? It's like, it's so hard. This is where you're supposed to scream, right? I can't because I'm, I'm under siege. 
Radiation at reactor number one skyrockets over 200 sieverts per hour. But the Geiger counters they're using only measures 10 sieverts per hour. Then they break, right? Uh, 200 sieverts per hour is a lethal dose right away to whoever is in the area. These are obviously stationary dosimeter, um, but that'll kill any electronics. So how do you measure it, see? Number one, dry well, not suppression chamber, now at 192 sieverts per hour. Suppression chambers, you see the different doses, or the numbers going up. You can't measure the numbers at these buildings. Your lethal dose is trying to get close to that. They're just postulating. It's, inf it's infinitely worse. The International Atomic Energy Agency says no. It's, there's not, not even tritium in the seawater, Dana. There, there's nothing, Dana. There's literally nothing. It's not even tritium. Japan's leaders in 311, most don't know, but reactor one melted down in five hours. Reactor three melted earlier than reported. Reactor three melted earlier than reported. It does look like it melted earlier than reported. It's not melted, it's gone. It's actually physically gone, right? Radiation of Fukushima groundwater skyrockets 35,000 times over the weekend. Five meters from the Pacific Ocean. Nothing being done to stop it flowing into the sea because it's a lethal dose everywhere. You can't go anywhere without millions of one ton bags in your way. <coughs> so you got to drive past millions and millions and millions, 105,000 sites or more to get to the plant. And it's nice and safe at the plant, Dana. There's nothing off the shoreline. Every time it rains in this country, that whole country is washing radiation um, out into the ocean. Same as South Korea and Taiwan and China is doing because of Fukushima's fallout. The Neptunium conversion ratio to plutonium is one to one. For every neptunium, there's a plutonium. Neptunium, by the way, decays to plutonium. The, the buildings are actually gone. All the plutonium is gone. All the curium, all the uranium, all the isotopes are released airborne. And then reactor one and two are China syndrome. Well, number one, the fuel pool detonated. Most of that burnt off into the environment immediately. And number, the reactor core appears to gone China syndrome. Definitely not in the buildings. It 100% melt through. And the detonations are a result of the meltdown itself. The meltdown, when you see the detonation, that's proof it melted down. See? And zirconium cladding is the source for the explosions for the, the so-called hydrogen. The routers obtained secret Tokyo evacuation scenario. And the Fukushima reactor failed as spent fuel rods melt and fall into the buildings. No, they burned at 9,000 degree Fahrenheit temperatures, right straight through everything. There's nothing can contain it. The, the way they lay out these sites, they spent about a half a billion dollars, and it's designed to accommodate the melt through and out. And so they usually build it up on um, quite a long ways up in the air is built, it'll be leveled off with um, shale, crush rocks to fill in all the gaps and stuff like this. So, that, so the fuel can go straight down and find a water table, preferably. That's their old shit plan. At the International Atomic Energy Agency, you don't find nothing, Dan. There's nothing there. They're the best, Dan. They know. They, they wouldn't lie to us. They like us, Dana. They're our friends. Uh-huh. Yeah, of course they are. So their official story for the last, since July the 13th, is 2.2 grams of tritium got out of the building. No uranium, no plutonium, no nothing else. Nothing. Nothing. How can you 
trust the nuclear industry or anybody else in the government and the media is in the universities when that's the official story is that didn't happen. When you have a documented 105,000 sites of one ton bags, you got nuclear academics, the department, professors of nuclear and quantum engineering telling you it was 2.2 grams. That's the official story came out right there. That's the official story. And then the Irigans to claim that it is equal to three grams of sugar. It should be humiliating to everybody left standing on this planet. You had uh, scumbag Arnie Gunnarsson saying everybody in Seattle was breathing 10 hot particles a day. 10 hot particles a day in Seattle. Arnie's such a disgusting betrayal what he done. No, you're, you're breathing brutal amounts of hot particles. <coughs> Bear with me. It's not any personal, they're just, that's, they're just evil. They can't help it. That's their personality. That's who they really are in the normal world, right? Hang on, I know. Here's Arnie Gunnarsson. Now I put, you can see fear winds. That's actually in the fuel pool of reactor four where I put the video. Um, the unit four was um, uh, was damaged twice. It was damaged by by a st all of the earthquakes that occurred, and it was also uh, damaged by a series of explosions over um, the first week or two of the of the accident. So the the, the building is structurally weakened. Now so does the building look structurally weakened to you? Now, Tokyo Electrics acknowledged that. They went in. in. So he's saying they went in under the fuel pool to put structures underneath it to support it. In, uh, in May and June of last year. This is more than a year ago. And put an enormous number of extra structural supports directly under the fuel pool. So the fuel pools are at the top of the building. There is no top or building left. That building should have been razzed the rest of the way to the ground. But they didn't. They left, they left that little stump there so they can pretend. So the storage capacity of each of the spent fuel pools at each reactor is 8,300 assemblies. Each assembly is 1,800 pounds. But it can hold a lot more than that, twice that, because they have it built in there because they don't have a repository. So the dry cast is 408. 1800 pound assemblies is a fraction of the site, just a very fraction. The common spent fuel pool can have 6,800 at each reactor unit. The nuclear fuel rods number four spent fuel pool are confirmed to be damaged for the first time. In the, no in the number four spent fuel pool. It's 100% Twilight Zone when you're trying to have this conversation. It's 100%. There is no fuel pool reactor for Total estimate of cesium released into the air is triple the amount published two months ago. All the cesium is gone. All the uranium is gone. All the plutonium is gone. And there's a lot of it. Beyond any number they've ever uttered. The reactor with Medusa, reactor three. Well, that's reactor two. That's the same height as reactor three. Reactor three doesn't even exist. So what they done there was they built this contraption around. It doesn't physically touch the remains of it. And anybody that worked there were given these tungsten vests. 
and that doesn't protect you. You start getting whole body x-rays, whole body gamma shines, whole body neutron bombardments, whole body, you name it. International Atomic Energy Agency finds tritium levels in the seawater below limits. You know, where there's 30 to 60 million one-ton bags. <coughs> Try picking them all up. Go, go mark on 30 million one-ton bags that I'm wrong. I'll listen to you when you get some proof that you've done it. We, we got a ridiculous amount of documentation. And the pictures themselves, though, when you look at the pictures, how do you say, well, they're, they're, they look okay to me, Dana? They're definitely 190 feet tall right there, Dana. How does that actually work, I wonder? Nuclear radiation is the most carcinogenic thing that exists. That's why they picked up 105,000 sites full of one-ton bags. But to have your universities come out and stabulate this, like the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering, when they come out and tell you it's 2.2 grams of tritium and it's like 3 grams of sugar, you don't have a future until you until you fix what the fuck that shit is. you got to fix your shit, folks. Fix your shit. International Atomic Energy Agency finds tritium levels in seawater below fucking the limits. Well, the 30 million one-ton bags got no... Every time it rains, it's releasing tritium, by the way. The bag's were only meant to last a couple of years on top of it. No answer for how radioactive material leaked from the reactors. No answer to how it got out of there. You can't figure it out, can you? Can't figure that out, how it got out of there? You got no answer. No answer for radioactive material leaked from the reactors. No, no answer. Should we just, like, get rid of all scientists and journalists and get it over with? Because you know that's coming. That day's coming, right? That's the only option we got now. We can't, we don't have a single thing out there we can trust. You better not trust your universities. You're an idiot. There's not one out, there's not one from any discipline to come out and, and counter it and try to be a, some attributes of a human. And they're the same ones who's filling up your government um, positions as these same creatures. Fukushima Daiichi has contaminated the biggest body of water on the entire planet. And radioactive leaks to harm marine and human life in the whole Pacific Ocean likely to have cesium levels five times to ten times higher than the peak of nuclear testing. Look, um, just one fuel pool will do that. What does eight fuel pools, four reactors, most likely the common spent fuel pool in reactor six, uh, mean for that equation, right? Now, geothermal can fill up every gap, right? This was a model out of Germany. Maybe worse than thought. Uh, studies from last year indicate that radioactive water will contaminate the entire Pacific Ocean in just six years. Kim Minji reports. This graphic shows the gradual contamination of the Pacific Ocean due to leaks of radioactive water from the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant in Japan. The simulation, which was run by a German marine research institute, shows the entire Pacific waters being polluted by radioactive water in just six years. A million becquerels a square meter over the west coast after the reactor's explosions. 20 million particles of iodine, 131 per liter, on the U.S. Uh, during post-Fukushima peak. These are bizarre numbers. We've never heard tell of anything like this in history. 220 million atoms per liter of deiodine-129 per liter. So, uh, by the way, you know, this was the xenon model. 
and it was accurate because he found the numbers it matched up to it the same as this is a study showing the numbers and but only acknowledged in the iodine 131 and this is another study he's different spot showing 220 million atoms which is a proper ratio by the way for the one 31 iodines you expect to get around 31 times more iodine 129 for each 131 produced and that's what showed up in separate parts of the country here in Canada no less in different tests so those just those three numbers we got studies on all kinds of others cesiums and sulfur peroxide hydrogen buckyballs from spraying salt water on the reactors because they had no access to fresh water for about 40 odd days and that alone was a catastrophic event for the 8 million species in humanity, just that when he sprayed salt water constantly. And the idea of that was just to manipulate you into thinking he had it under control. It made it a billions and trillions of times worse. <coughs> so just those three isotopes, the xenon 133 at a million becquerels a square meter, 20 million particles of 131 per liter, and 220 million atoms per liter, 129. That's going to saturate the thyroid glands of every creature, every creature on the planet. Saturated. So minimum, they're producing radioactive hormones for the rest of their lives. And the majority of them would have been sterilized in a few generations because of that mutation. And so the reason you don't see a lot of mutated, this like mutated insects like that is because they were wiped out. They didn't lot did there was so much radiation they didn't live long enough to produce the mutations they died off they stopped reproducing they were sterilized because what we're talking about is enough to full body x-rays of everything in, in the forest the meadows the mountains everything washes down through your whole uh, continent eventually Whatever ends up on the coastline is incredibly radioactive. The tidal zones are your nurseries. Take hope that the Fukushima map is fake. That's 2018, the one to your left. 2018, that's seven years after the meltdowns. That was still circulating. And so anybody that would regurgitate that narrative at their blog or on their Facebook or wherever, the horde of scum media of um, academics and, and student nuclear students would show up and call them idiots and morons and say, that's a tsunami map, stupid, and leave again, right? And so you don't really want to go down that road again. Most people walk away. <coughs> but that's Noah's actual dispersion in the ocean, not that one, which is Noah's too. And that one, they knew it existed. So that's the real one. But what they done was they came out and made fun of you and ridiculed you for trying to think. I launched a relentless, perpetual campaign to do research expeditions, and we did for six years. And sometimes twice a year, you go to Alaska. Sometimes twice a year, you're going to Alaska and we done the whole coastline, right? You just go through the whole coastline year after year. And what we discovered was that the radioactive fallout had caused a catastrophic event. The species to your left were exterminated. We know this because we went back year after year. And you'll never see the species, these species, no more. And then when you do the side-by-side -side comparison of the authentic pictures, mine to the right, you realize this is unequivocally an extinction-level event. We have decimated permanently, because I went back year after year to quantify it, uh, praying that it returned. But we knew after a few years it couldn't return, so we had to prove it in the hopes the world would start acting responsible. The nuclear industry at this stage now had silent all dissent. And so I, what I'm doing here is very dangerous, it's very difficult, and I'm 
in dire straits at this stage 12 years later. All my equipment now is old and in, and very dangerous to use. I mean, I'm heading out on the ocean here, 16 trips, with a motor that would quit at 3,000 RPM. <laughs> and we proved the failure of the migratory bird species. <coughs> Wrecked the truck that's still in the garage. I'm terrified what the bill on that's going to be. I have no way of funding it now. We can't repair the boat. We got one of the bikes is broke. We can't fix that. We have no foundations, no organizations. We have very just, just a less, just basically a less than a handful, a single handful of people um, trying to support this big operation that can't succeed if it doesn't grow. And so I'm forced to do what you see in, you know, I should be out there all summer long doing research expeditions. Look what we discovered on the west coast, an extinction level event. We're on the east coast, and it's just nightmare after nightmare. And the problem is, I have no right not to try, because I know better. I understand what's going on, what to look for, and how to articulate it. And, you know, six years, four to five months a year in the ocean, I earned the right to have this conversation and I earned the right to do everything in my power to inform the entire population of the planet that we can't have a future and we can't possibly have hope with the International Atomic Energy Agency coming out and claiming these ridiculous claims that they're not finding tritium. When tritium is the last single that you're going to be able to find in this cluster of nightmare that they've got created. Fukushima Diachi has contaminated the biggest body of water, well, no, the entire planet. And this is our responsibility. We're responsible. This is our watch. It's our obligation. We're obligated to do everything in our power so the future can have hope. We don't know if they're going to have a future, but let's try to give them hope. Let's, let's be an example uh, that there is still good people left on the planet, no matter how fleeting and small it is. This model is Noah's radioactive fallout. I run an educational program because I believe that's the only way we can have a future. If I was able to raise an army and go wipe out these people, I would have done it a long time ago. But I'm old and broken and not very healthy. I just had three heart attacks and seven stints put in. And I'm still forced to do all kinds of stuff on my own because the world hasn't found me. The nuclear industry has made it illegal to support me. It's actually illegal to support me. Anybody who does is, they find a way to punish him. TEPCO was ordered to pay for false rumors, false rumors. 30 million one-ton bags is a false rumor, Dana. 30 million one-ton bags of radiation. All these models of radioactive fallout have been quantified by studies is a false rumor. International Atomic Energy Agency can't even find tritium. Yet Japan banned green tea 40 miles the opposite direction of Fukushima. Typical order to pay for false rumors despite the fact 8,000 kilometers is considered 100% contaminated with just cesium at 30,000 beckles a square meter. But that's false rumors now. It's all 30 million one ton bags, false rumors. Get any idea what uh, like it's never ending stupid because they can't tell you the truth. They got eighty years of lying to you and telling the truth is not an option. The minute they tell you the truth, the world starts to wake up and everybody will do the appropriate thing and spit on anything with nuclear attached to it. Oh me, oh my, right? 
the International Atomic Energy Agency is only can't even find tritium after multiple nuclear meltdowns, despite the country is completely contaminated. I skipped that. I've done that already. My apologies. Tokyo has the third highest cesium levels of all testing in Japan. And so every time it rains, the whole country hemorrhages radiation into the ocean. But the International Atomic Energy Agency can't even find tritium. Typically, I've got to pay for rumors. Despite, like ABC Australia says, former special advisors to Japan too scared. They're too scared to tell people the truth. They're too scared. Tell people the truth. Children with 11 beckles a kilogram of just cesium start to see heart problems. The baby food makers who were warned about the contamination in the ba baby food at 30 beckles a kilogram, but 11 beckles a kilogram, children see heart problems. At 50 beckles a kilogram, is permanent whole a heart damage. International Atomic Energy Agency, like, we don't like kids anyway, so we couldn't even find tritium in the seawater near Fukushima. Totally below level. Irreversible heart damage for children with 50 beckles a kilogram. And then in Tachigi, to measure it in Unisievers, the ultimate insult. Because radioactive fallout is measured by Beckles, atomic decays per second. 300 times over cesium limits in wild mushrooms, 140 miles away in Tachigi Prefecture, which is a nuclear wasteland, I might add. Unexpected finding in Tachigi, 17 times radiation limits in front of a school. So you, you don't send your child to school. That's child abuse. You you move away. You got no choice. You got to start over. That's okay. You got your health. Hopefully, move away and start over. That's the moral and ethical thing to do. Nuclear industry is like, no, that'll give us a bad reputation. Stay there, get sick, and live out your miserable life. And don't complain. You need to do that so we can exist. That's what the nuclear industry, the International Atomic Energy Agency's motto uh, motive is. Five million beckles a kilogram, no decontamination. Can't eat the food there, but they're forced to live there in a nuclear wasteland. Yet the International Atomic Energy can't even find tritium. Kyoto News, uh, Kyoto News uses the term hot zones to describe Miyagi, Iwati, Chibi Prefecture, not just Fukushima. In 2013, two years too late, U.S. bans agricultural fishery products in 14 prefectures. Two years later. Two years later, two years, two friggin' years. Did you know the food was banned by 55 countries, not the U.S. or Canada? Canada removed all restrictions after 93 days. The food was banned in the prefectures by 55 countries. They replaced the people that done that, and then they lifted the ban, of course, except for China. And a little bit of South Korea. And South Korea is one of the biggest exporters of uh, seafood, for goodness sakes, from Japan. 105,000 nuclear wastelands. You're going to what? You're going to let kids go back? You're going to grow food there? Yeah, but Dana, I'm a nuclear scientist. I'm a professor, actually, at the Department of Nuclear and Quantum Engineering. Dana, and you are not. And I'm saying it's 2.2 grams. And it's like 3 grams of sugar. But, but you're wrong, so the buildings are actually destroyed. And because there's no incentive not to be evil, well, what's, what could be worse than no incentive not to be evil? What do you think is going to happen to generations of evil when there's no incentive not to be evil? They're going to get more evil, right? When all the media pretends they're in a building that don't exist and tells you not to worry, you better start worrying and you better get it right because you don't got a huge margins of errors to make. When all your media is out there trying to convince you that is natural, like the International Atomic Energy Agency standards are based on bananas and, and sunshine and sleeping next to somebody and flying on airplanes. 
But the models of the fallout at 20 days, almost every one of them, almost every one of them, it, multiple buildings detonated. That How can you deny it? The, the pictures of the buildings that don't even exist exist. They have took two of these buildings and stacked them on top of each other. They're not as tall as the bottom frame for reactor one, which was an identical twin. So both the reactors stack, three and four stacked on each other don't come that tall. The fuel pools reactor cores would have been at the top of the buildings. Up here. That's what happened to them. So they put this contraption over it. Reactor three and four. They rolled out the apologist. Now, I built, the division I ran built nuclear fuel racks for boiling water reactors exactly like Fukushima. Unit 4 it has always been my biggest concern. If you watched <laughs> our website, on the very first week of the accident, I was saying that if Unit 4 were to catch fire, you'd have to evacuate Tokyo. So let's roll out a bunch of people saying it didn't catch fire. They got lots of goblins. And... Uh, you don't want to work in that environment and be a nice person. So that's what it looks like. But here's TEPCO in the United States at a press club telling the, the audience, which is journalists, that are paying deep attention because they're not allowed to say that. they got and, to tell uh, this story here. Of Fukushima Daiichi stage, the, right after the accident, uh, it was, of course, the uh, emergency condition. Emergency. But uh, right now, uh, gradually, gradually, uh, it became the uh, decommissioning stage, a more stable decommissioning stage. And that's that, the, as I mentioned, uh, the successful uh, completion of the... Does this look like this is an official story? They're telling you they're going to the United States, they're going to press clubs. Everybody knew when to laugh on cue, by the way. It's got nothing to do with it. This is what they want. TEPCO, a corporation, wants the American media to say, and they did. Uh, uh, dismantle uh, the uh, uh, spent fuel from the Unit 4. No, uh, it's about a 50, uh, uh, 33 uh, bundle from the Unit 4, and uh, we carefully uh, manipulate uh, the machine <laughs> yeah. and successfully remove uh, uh, those fuel to the uh, ground pool, ground located pool. You can't take fuel from the pool when it don't exist. So the media is like lawyer, no. The media is like, thanks, where do I pick up my check? So they get the building, they level it out. Instead of, they should have scrapped it right to the ground. They put that contraption, tells like here, and then up there is the fuel pool, but the building doesn't even exist. Because right? the building stops, basically stops right around here. Because all of that should have been torn down. There's nothing left. Do you get it? There's nothing, you can't just build an imaginary pool and say everything is, look, oh, there's the fuel pool. <laughs> Have a nice day. Just the bottom piece is taller than what's left of the stump of reactor four, which is just covering up that. There is no reactor four. That doesn't exist unless you go to the mainstream media. International Atomic Energy Agency public trust key to the project using radioactive soil from Fukushima. So in Akuma, which is two kilometers away from the Diachi mel ongoing meltdowns, multiple reactor buildings, <coughs> they're dumping the soil and growing food in it. But, and so the International Atomic Energy Agency, this is this year by the way, said it's not a regulator and therefore not in a position to judge or approve Japan's genocidal why did you, you can't recycle millions of one-ton bags of radiation. It doesn't work that way. Some say 60 million. There's about 60 million tons. Of but the International Atomic Energy Agency is not a regulator, not in a position to judge. 
despite that's exactly what they're doing, right? And that the current president was a former prosecutor who denied in 2021, because I covered that story and I remembered him well, he denied Fukushima worked, or melted down, just d denied that happened, denied they happened. And now he's the president of Japan, so now it really doesn't happen. The International Atomic Energy Agency's role is to analyze and confirm data provided by TEPCO. They, they've only been there five times in 12 years, all of them this year. A couple of times for the soil, where they're not a regulatory agency. They don't judge or approve. And where the water discharge, their role is to analyze whatever TEPCO gives them. The corporation is supposed to do. Do they do that with uh, Iran? Do they get, say to Iran, well, give us the sample, we'll go back and check it. And despite the record of 105,000 sites of one-ton bags, the official story is now that they don't even find tritium. And that's all they're going to talk about. The official story is now the official story. That never happened, it looks like this. Just as no. somebody from a corporation... Of course. <clears throat> you know where it's too, it's everywhere now, isn't it? And forever and ever and ever. And pretending it didn't happen is a mistake. It's a real mistake. It's a real mistake. There's uh, These panels are laid there by gravity on a crane. The building doesn't exist. The building is underneath it. It doesn't physically touch it. <coughs> you know. So inside of the top of that, this is what it looks like right here. And the media always said, well, here we are inside a reactor for, and that's where they were said they were talking from. That doesn't actually exist at all. And nobody's walking up here. That, that's a lethal dose. You don't go there. And it's destroyed all of all the way to the ground anyway. They should have leveled the whole building. There really isn't. But they needed that stump so they can pretend there was a fuel pool. And they done the same thing for Reactor 3. <coughs> the water filtration system, 2014, the ELP system hadn't worked, really. The Riva system, same as the ELP system, in three and a half years later, didn't work. The ground pass by uh, uh, ground ground pass pumping operation, where the water was going to pull up behind a barrier and they were going to pump it around the site, so it didn't go through the site, didn't work. <coughs> They're going to build a billion dollar fence. You can't stop radiation with a fence or an ice wall. The ice wall didn't work. Turns the live stream fish in Fukushima safety campaign this year to manipulate you and not believe that happened and that happened. And they took it to all extremes. It's hard to comprehend how actually evil they really are and how important it is the world make sure that this doesn't continue. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake in 2011, leading to the country's worst nuclear disaster. It's, it's more easy to believe I was there instead of her. <coughs> the, the building don't exist. So when the world's media is willing to do that, what does that say about us? They done the same thing for that building there that doesn't should have been razed all the way to the ground. There's nothing left. They needed to put a structure there to pretend that they were in the fuel pool and everything was safe, right? Trust the science. By the way, we count the tanks, there's not a thousand, there's seven hundred and fifty if you count the little ones. U.S. gives Japan a stamp of approval for a Fukushima water release. And the only way you can do it is pretend that never happened. 
So what's the point of them, see? I screwed up, sorry. Anyway. IAEA shores the safety of the water release from the Fukushima disaster site. How can they shore something that actually doesn't exist anymore? Because the building should be this tall. But if you stack both of them up, they only come up to the bottom part of... To the very bottom, of that right, right there. That part there is that top of that part there, and that part there is higher than two of reactor three and four stacked on top of each other. So how do you give out a safety? And you and Atomic Energy Chief visit Fukushima nuclear plant supports wastewater release. Then he's got to go over to South Korea, New Zealand, Cook Islands. The East concern over there that nothing happened. Dan is a lawyer. Don't believe Dana. Dana's fear monger. Dana's fear monger. Reactor 3 doesn't look like that. Reactor 4 doesn't look like that. Just trust the IAEA and get sick and die like a good little slave. Uh, footage came out, or pictures came out, 730 plus pictures. And the tenth uh, January of the tenth anniversary. So when you look at these pictures, if you look at the reactors up there, you start wondering why does it look like it's p pixelated? Well, because it is. Over seven hundred pictures, the reactors, the common spin fuel pool, um, were all pixelated. That's the common spin fuel pool behind reactor four, for goodness sakes. This is reactor four pixelated there. But all the, everything, the entire common spin fuel pool is pixelated. Reactor three is pixelated. Reactor two, heavy pixelation. Reactor three, again, heavily pixelated. But reactor, you can clearly, a common spin fuel pools, this is containers for transport trucks pushed up there because the tsunami came right through here. It went right through the common spin fuel pool. It's at the exact same height as reactor one, two, three, and four. So why is that pixelated? That had around 10 million pounds capacity on a normal, but these weren't normal times. These plants are 40 years old. You don't have a repository in Japan, let alone anywhere else worldwide. And so they would have been packed with a lot more fuel, over 10 million pounds. Yet they're claiming only 2.2 grams got out of the entire site. But don't worry, it's in the thousand tanks, not not this one, obviously. Well, see, you can see the kind of pressure is from the, you know, this is going around the buildings, it's doing the same thing, see? You can't contain it once this. Now, the... They had around 400 casts and dry storage. This is a dry storage. This is actually at sea level. We'd have a 3,000-year history of tsunamis. Guess what happened there? There weren't too many casts left behind. But that's reactor 6. This is reactor 5. Why is reactor 6, the pump house, and the stack pixelated out in the 736 pictures that were released? I found them on a Chinese site and linked back to TEPCO's website where I downloaded them from TEPCO's website. So the International Atomic Energy Agency has quite a few, or UN has quite a few agencies besides the International Atomic Energy Agency. And this is one of them. This is Unsclear, had done a study in the first year. Average absorbed dose is red bone marrow for adults in Fuka Prima, uh, Fuka Prima, Fukushima Prefecture. United Nations Scientific Committee on the Effects of the Atomic Radiation. So this is United Nations, same as IAEA. And here's what they found was that in the first roll, like you see, date city, Fukushima city, 
The next row is the population. This row here is Beckwell's a square meter of just cesium-137. So they're just, forget everything else exists, just think only of cesium-137, but multiply it by 600 to get the real number. So the, all of these communities should be abandoned. And the UN in 2021, same years as the pictures uh, that I showed you earlier of the unit four, uh, six in the uh, common span fuel pool pixelated out. That same anniversary, UN came out all over the world, all the media worldwide puked up that narrative. UN finds no adverse health effects, despite the UN had showed these numbers for each of these communities of just cesium. And the fact that there was 865,000 cancers in the first year cancer, not everybody was diagnosed, not everybody has health care, and there's many other issues with this statement, isn't it? So the average disposition density of just cesium, but the reactor's actually biggest byproduct is curium, and curium you need lead shielding 20 times thicker than you do for plutonium, so therefore you couldn't even read the cesium single if there was curium, and there was, because the curium isotope single is so strong. So the reality of it is the density of curium in the soil was these numbers, not cesium. It was dear, but it just they couldn't register because of the curium, which is a different emitter, I suppose. They, they were looking for gamma cesium. This is the, and then they're using cheap gamma detectors. Safecast, a safecast done to everybody in Japan was absurd. There's an American group of guys like Asby Brown and a few more of them showed up, started up this nonprofit making handmade Geiger counters, <coughs> barely fine gamma, and it was still finding just the terrifying numbers, but they can barely work those things. Evil. It's hard to appreciate how evil nuclear and coordinated. Evil is one thing about the nuclear industry, the evil nuclear industry is they're coordinated. You gotta give them credit. They're one great big evil happy bunch. Experts couldn't find nothing, they said. Six and ten Fukushima children with diabetes can't find anything. You got all these communities. So let's go down through these communities for a second. And I want you to think about how each of these Fukushima radiation not cause any population health harm. They're living in nuclear wastelands, there's 1,800 diseases, but they know you don't know about this, so they came out with this narrative in 2021. No adverse health, all the media was happy to come out and scream that to the top of their lungs. You got all of these communities, and the last row to your right is the Beckwell's per cube square meter. It's shocking what you're looking at. And by the way, these nuclear wastelands are in the middle of 14 prefectures. They're in Fukushima Prefecture. They're surrounded by all these other prefectures where the food was banned for over a decade. And you should never lift it, obviously, at that stage, right? But think about these sadistic demons growing food right alongside of one-ton bags of radiation. And hopefully the world will come to its senses. Brookhaven National Laboratory continues to show almost no regard for its neighbors. They had um, massive amount of lawsuits in New Jersey. That that probably shouldn't have been there, but it's too late. Radioactive xenon 133 in Washington, 450,000 times above detection levels, and persisted for weeks. So you, you know you had the iodine 131 model, you have the xenon 133 model, you have the iodine 129 model, you got Xenon, xenon number one at 450,000 times background. You have the ambassador, uh, Murata, writes to UN Secretary General, it's no exaggeration to say the fate of Japan and the whole world depends on number four reactor that didn't even exist. And Arnie Gunnison, he made the racks for the fuel assemblies in the pools, so he they rolled him out. He's like, my biggest concern was number four which doesn't even exist. And number three, denying 
this is you're just self-sabotaging your future and the future of your loved ones, your loved ones, your friends and your families. And there's lots of people out there. We are here inside Reactor 4 at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant that was severely crippled during the earthquake and tsunami of 2011, leading to the country's worst nuclear disaster. And you can't talk through a face mask like that, by the way. Uh, so, we had a lot of problems, I'm having a lot of problems getting my videos out on time because it's so much work, and then I have to, because uh, you're talking about a 90 gigabyte file, I have to crunch that down to something around a gigabyte, so that takes quite a bit of time, and then the uploading process takes quite a long time all of a sudden since uh, August 24th when he suspended me with hackers, nuclear industry, uh, you know, insiders at YouTube and Rumble or whatever done it, who can't live stream. And so congratulations to those people, but uh, I'm, I'm still going to do the work, whatever it takes each day to have a conversation. And you ain't helping the case by uh, doing that to me, I can assure you. And so... I forgot what we were going to say at that time. Oh yeah, the, the amount of time it takes. So once it gets on the YouTube, it's finally uploaded to YouTube after I converted it from the original file, after I shot the two hours show, after I worked all day to put it together. I still got to wait for it to become high quality before it shows up on your end because it, it, it goes from 360 to 1080. And not, it doesn't go 480 and then 720 on the way, right? <laughs> if it's not ready... By the start of the premiere, it won't show up until it's over, and it'll show up immediately when it's over, <coughs> and which I'm assuming they're doing to me on purpose, because I've uploaded lots of videos for years. I've never seen it operate that way. <coughs> and they, they got a million ways to poke at you, and they'll f they'll keep doing it. There's a tens of thousands of public relations firms you call media willing to cut my throat for free just to get some favors with nuclear industry in the yard. You got the stock market coming after me and they're, they're puppets and they're useful idiots. And you got the psychotic university academia. They're, they're students, they're, they're families all having a vested interest in nuclear and will just lash out at me and demonize me and smear me. And I have all my equipment breaking down all around me. But I, I still have, um, I still have a job ahead of me that I got to get done every day, no matter how miserable and intolerable my existence actually is, and just depressing because I can't do the research. I'm not free to do anything, literally. So I have to come out with these shows every day because we still got to have a conversation, and I don't want the future generation to hate me for not trying. And I just want to know that everybody know that cares about this subject. We like the world needs a voice, and the voice needs to be honest. And anything less than that is not acceptable. And that's all we find everywhere we go when we try to scrutinize them. Um, they're not just found wanting, they're found to be sadistic and maniacal and hateful and vicious and uncaring and soulless. That's what a media and an academic and a journalist should be tattooed on their foreheads. Be danger, warning, danger, journalist, danger, professor, danger, academic, danger. For the nuclear industry, danger. A great night, great day. Love everybody. Hugs for you and your loved ones, and your friends, and your families, and your communities, and your pets, and your insects. I'm fucking here, going to war every day. And hopefully, you'll get the courage someday, and will too. But don't worry. 
Everybody take a great big fucking shit on me because I'll be back tomorrow no matter how big the shit is. I'll be back here tomorrow wallowing in your excrement. I don't fucking fear any of you out in the industry. You're not even bullies, you're just outrageous cowards. And the rest of you, hugs for you. We'll see you all later. Take care.